up guys, it's Kelly and today I am doing another swatch and review for you. So today I'm partnering up with Picture Polish to show you guys their new vintage collection. So if you haven't heard of Picture Polish before, I have done tons of reviews on them before. Basically just to recap, they are an independent Australian made brand that is vegan and cruelty free. They're super awesome, their formulas are really nice. I especially love their bottles because they have the polish name on them. It's really easy to remember the polish names. <laughs> so as the name would suggest, the vintage collection is definitely a set of vintage polishes. There's six of them. They have that, it's described as a matte silky satin finish and I think that embodies the collection really well. They're kind of like those like pearlized shimmer polishes. It's a really beautiful range of colors for us in the northern hemisphere. It's turning into spring so I think these are really beautiful spring polishes. For Australia it is becoming fall so <laughs> I guess for them they're really nice fall polishes. But yeah so anyway let's just get started with the swatches. So as per usual just using my base coat underneath all of my swatches just to protect my natural nail and keep anything from staining. So first up we have Madam. This is a really beautiful coral pink shade that has that pearlized shimmer to it. It was actually surprisingly opaque on the first coat, but generally with these types of pearlized finish polishes, I like to just do the first coat a little bit sloppier just for the opacity. And then I will go back in with a second coat for the brush strokes just to make them nice and even and uniform. So you can see that's what I am doing in all of these swatches. But really this is such a beautiful take on a pearlized finish. I've never seen a color like this with this type of finish so I'm totally in love. Next up we have the shade Empress. This is another beautiful pearlized finish that has that gorgeous coppery color. This is so bright and beautiful but I also think it's just really nice and elegant. This is a great collection for those of you who have to wear like very neutral colors to work but you still want them to be kind of unique and interesting because I think this collection really brings that out. It has such a typical conservative type of color palette and finish but when you put them together they just look so beautiful. Beautiful. So really into this one too. Next up we have the color Dame. This is a beautiful champagne color with that pearlized shimmer in it. And this one was also super opaque on the first coat. This one almost kind of felt a little bit of a metallic to me just because of how that really light color looks with that pearlized finish. And I think this one was just so gorgeous. This one actually totally feels like a New Year's polish. I can definitely see why it is a spring polish, but it feels so perfect for New Year's. Like I want to do some nail art with this for New Year's. It's so beautiful. I don't know. Next up we have Duchess which is a gorgeous blush pink nude-ish kind of color that has that same pearlized metallic chromey finish to it and again super super opaque. I was really impressed with the opacity. The majority of these honestly you could get away with one coat but like I said I really love to do a second coat just to get that nice finish to be like all streaky in the same layer if that makes sense. That actually sounds terrible but hopefully you guys can tell from my swatches what I mean here. I just love when like that nice streaky finish kind of all goes in the same direction and looks I don't know, beautiful and the same. <laughs> Next up we have the shade Queen. This one was actually kind of a standout in the collection to me. It was a little bit darker than the rest of the polishes and it actually made me feel like I would love to see some fall versions of these types of finishes because I love this. It's like almost like a dark, dusty, burgundy type of color, I guess I would say. I don't know. It's just, it's a very unique color and it's especially unique because you wouldn't expect to see this type of finish on a color like that. Again, super opaque, just needed that one coat for opacity and then the second coat just to finish that off and make it look beautiful. And last but definitely not least we have Tiara. This one could be a favor for me but you guys know I'm a little bit biased towards purple polishes because I think they're absolutely stunning. This is like such a beautiful soft lavender color but it's so bright and perfect. Like I feel like this could definitely be a summer color. It was a little bit sheer on the first coat but I did get full opacity in the second coat. If you have long nails you might want to throw on a third coat but honestly I think this just looks so beautiful and Ugh, I don't know. I'm in love with this one. So my thoughts on this collection, I really like them. For me, I think they're very different from what we normally get for like a spring collection of nail polishes. And I feel like a lot of companies are really scared to do polishes like this. I feel like they're making such a nice revival right now. And I think that the colors in this collection are just such a beautiful way of showcasing that type of finish. It just makes me really excited. These polishes are available on the Picture Polish website. They have a ton of international stockists. I'm gonna leave all of the information down below. But yeah, so let me know which one's your favorite. Give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed my swatch and review videos. If you're not subscribed to my channel, you should subscribe because I do these videos and 
you know, they're fun sometimes. <laughs> All right, that's it. I'll talk to you guys later. Bye. We'll go with an easy fun fact today. I've got a new plant right here. She is a variegated peace lily and She's very small, but I think she's so cute. So I have a huge peace lily, like a really big one in my dining area, and she's been thriving in the low light. So I kind of have this corner now, which is not very light. And I thought another peace lily would be really nice, but this one's slightly different because it's variegated. So it's got those like nice spotty leaves. So I like her. I hope you guys do too. All right, I'll talk to you later. Bye.